is good everybody welcome to an epic my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we have some brand new wwe action figure news for you guys as you guys know as we near sdcc as we get closer as we draw nearer to san diego comic-con where well, well it well, would have originally been san diego comic-con now it's just going to be uh mattel and people just kind of releasing stuff over the internet because sdcc was canceled due to the pandemic sweeping the nation and so we are not getting an sdcc event where you know guys will be there walking around round interviews things of that nature which is very unfortunate we will be doing this thing online exclusively and just releasing stuff sort of how i've just been giving you the guys the news this is kind of how it will be when we officially get there it won't be a big event where i'm showing you images from the event and interviews from the event it will be me getting on here and just telling you what they've announced to us over the airwaves so today we're back guys we we've been doing it the last few weeks i feel like i've had a ton of news for you guys and new stuff and new images and new leaked lists and new upc code and all this different stuff coming forward for the Mattel WWE action figures that we love so much. And we're back again here today. So I, I wanted to add this in. I know we had the Backlash review last night, but I figured get on here, do another review because we got the Raw review tonight as well as some news. So I wanted to get on here and get this out of the way for you. But let's go ahead and dive in, guys. We got two new lines announced. And you guys know the other day, I think we released, what, what was it, Basic Series 111 with Bray Wyatt. We had the Firefly Funhouse Bray Wyatt. We're back again with Basic Series 112, and in this news, this does come to us from WWE Retro Stars on Twitter. I want to give a huge shout out to them. They did say consider these very unofficial, but I feel like people sometimes just plug that in there just in case they're wrong or something like that. I've even done this before where, you know, I'll come out and I'll say, you know, take this with a grain of salt. I'm just saying this because anything can change. Literally on, on, on a single day within an hour, something could change. So, Anytime we, we say some news, you know, you do have to take it with a grain of salt because in the world of WWE figures, it could, ch you know, it could, it could change on a dime. We could turn on a dime at any moment, but Basic Series 112, it says here we have Adam Cole, Braun Strowman, Sasha Banks, Kurt Hawkins, and Seth Rollins. So getting into this series, let's go ahead and look at it. We do know that Adam Cole, his last Elite figure was Elite Series 71. That had the screaming or smiling or Adam Cole baby face on it. And then, of course, his Epic Moments figure did have the regular just chilling face or straight face, whatever you want to say there. And I thought both of those head sculpts were pretty good, especially the Epic Moments. I love the Epic Moments one to this day. It was a true effects head sculpt. It looks fantastic. And the Elite 71, it was hit or miss. It kind of depended on, you know, how the eyes lined up and how the mouth was shaped and how it was applied and stuff with the paint and the graphics. But for the most part, Adam Cole was a pretty good figure. Now, I don't know if this is going to be a new head sculpt. I would hope and imagine it would be a new head sculpt because we haven't seen a new Adam head sculpt in a while now. So I would hope that it would be a new head sculpt. As far as Braun Strowman is concerned, I would highly guarantee that it is going to be the Elite Series 76 head sculpt that we saw on his shirtless Elite just a few uh, weeks ago when we reviewed his Elite Series 76 figure. I would guarantee that is the head sculpt it will be. It will be that pissed off Braun head. And I wouldn't expect anything different. You know, it could be something different, but I'd be very shocked. I would imagine it would be that exact head sculpt. So if you guys missed out on the Elite 76 Braun Strowman and you really want to piss off Braun Strowman, this is probably going to be the one that you want to get. Next up, we have Sasha Banks. Now, Sasha Banks, I feel like she's had a pretty good amount of figures. She's had a variety of head scans. She's had some bad ones. She's had some solid ones. I don't think we've ever gotten a Sasha Banks head sculpt where it was like, holy Christ, that is the Sasha Banks head sculpt. Hopefully, when the Ringside Exclusive, you know, releases and this basic comes out and stuff like that, this head sculpt ends up being her best one and we can finally put it on our, you know, our, uh, what was that, the WrestleMania 35 Elite and the Eddie Guerrero attire and our Ringside Exclusive. Maybe that will be, it may be the same one as that one, but I do want to get a better Sasha Banks head sculpt, so hopefully this one will be that. We have Kurt Hawkins. Now, this Kurt Hawkins one, I'm very uh, unsure of what it could be. You know, who the hell knows at this point? It could be an Edgehead's Kurt Hawkins to go along with the Ringside Exclusive. It could be, you know, uh, his WrestleMania 34 attire, or 35, I think it was 35, when him and Zack Ryder won the Raw Tag Titles or whatever that was. Um, I don't know. I mean, your guess is as good as mine. It, it most likely will be different than the Elite 64 that we've seen, so this could end up being our third or fourth uh, Kurt Hawkins head sculpt that we get from him, but Kurt Hawkins is in this set. It could change, you know, I'm not sure about that. We, we've discussed this with the Edge Ringside Exclusive 3-pack Edge Heads figure. It could change on a dime, don't really know, but at this point, it is set to release, so I guess we'll just have to see. And then with Seth Rollins, I'm hoping that this one is, uh, I, I hope it's different than Basic Series 102. I would imagine it would be. We got that head sculpt on the Elite 75, we got that head sculpt on the WrestleMania 36 Basic, and we did get that 
head sculpt on the basic series 102 and this is basic 112 so that's 10 series different i would imagine it would be a monday night messiah possibly uh maybe a longer hair mold maybe like the little shaved sides maybe a thicker beard i don't know uh, maybe it could be a man bun rollins we haven't seen a man bun rollins in a really long time since like elite 25 so that's a super long time maybe we'll get a man bun rollins we'll just have to see and wait but hopefully it will be just as good as his last head sculpt and the head sculpt before that with the top talents and stuff like that um, I'm hoping so. I'm a big Rollins guy. I love my Rollins collection, so let's hope that this one is a really good one. But that's not all we have. We not only have Basic Series 112 leaked to us, guys, we also have Basic Series 113. And with Basic Series 113, I think we got a pretty good set right here that I'm excited to get into. Let's go ahead and pull it up on your screen. Basic Series 113 is Buddy Murphy, Edge, Mia Yim, Drew McIntyre, and John Cena. Now, this one's very interesting. I'm imagining that Basic Series 113, Buddy Murphy, will definitely be a, do a different head sculpt than Elite 72. I feel like even Buddy Murphy didn't like his head sculpt on Elite Series 72. I think he even tweeted something about it or commented on Ringside or, or Mattel or something like that. I remember something like that, something vague in my memory about him commenting on it and saying, you know, that ain't me or, or why is my hair so red or something like that. I can't remember, but... Hopefully Buddy Murphy's new head sculpt will be better than his previous one, and I'm not sure what attire that will be. It could be a variety of things. I wouldn't imagine it'd be the Monday Night Rollins or Monday Night Messiah, you know, follower gimmick with the long black tights. That would probably be way too soon for that, but uh, I guess anything's possible. But Buddy Murphy's not the only one in the set, guys. We have Edge, and this one I'm really excited about because I think this could be his Royal Rumble return attire or one that's similar and it should be an updated edge head sculpt so i'm actually very excited about this maybe we can make an updated edge elite until we get an edge elite i would imagine edge will probably be an elite series 81 82 or 83 and possibly some sort of other line you know when they plug them in lines like the entrance great i know we don't have entrance greats i'm just saying i think they're going to try to plug edge into a different elite line too to get as many figures of him as possible especially if he went down with that injury last night uh and he's still under that legends deal they're going to want to get the get the figures out of him just like jeff hardy and matt when they were with the company i know jeff's still there but matt uh you know they tried to get as many figures of them as soon as they signed they were like figure 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 so hopefully we get the same thing with edge here and i am super hyped for this basic i imagine it would be an updated edge head sculpt and i can't wait to put that on elite do some surgery get a little cool fantasy gear going on action figure surgery or something like that but I think that's going to be a fantastic figure. On top of that, we have a first time in the line with Mia Yim. And I know a lot of people love to expand their roster. So this is going to be a great opportunity to do so. We can get Mia Yim on our NXT roster. Plug her in right there and that will be great. Hopefully her figure is really good. And uh, her head sculpt's really nice and everything like that. But I would imagine Mia Yim's figure would be pretty good. Especially with true effects and stuff like that. I think that uh, for the most part, Mattel has their head sculpts down to a T now. And hopefully that will follow the same suit with Mia Yim. I'm excited to get her a figure. Next up is Drew McIntyre. And Drew McIntyre does definitely need a new head sculpt. I think that they could knock this one out of the park. Not that his other elite was bad with the two different, you know, hair in the face, hair back. But I think this is probably going to be like a Royal Rumble winner attire where he had, I think it was the purple attire. And he should come with... Uh, a pretty cool head sculpt, a new head sculpt that I can't wait to put on an Elite, maybe if it's good enough, and we'll see how that goes and stuff like that. Depending on how good it is, it will make me decide whether I want to get it or not. But Drew McIntyre is not the only one in the set. We also have John Cena. Now, this one's very interesting because I'm not sure if this is going to be a throwback Cena or if it's going to be the same swoopy hair one with a t-shirt mold that we've seen 162 times. I guess we're just going to have to find out about that, but hopefully it's a newer John Cena head sculpt. It could not be. But I feel like Basic Series, what was that? It was like Basic Series, it was one of the newer Basic Series, like 109 or something that we took a look at the other day, had the same exact, you know, lime green shirt with the swoopy hair that we've seen so many times. So hopefully that Basic Series, this Basic Series 113 John Cena won't follow that same exact mold and we will get a new head sculpt or a throwback figure. But that is pretty much all the news I have for you guys as far as new figure sets and leaks and stuff like that. Again, here in the next month, guys, it's going to be news just crashing our party. Like, there's going to be so much news flying in from all over the place, so you definitely want to get yourselves ready for that. I'm talking new digital leaks, like the Comic-Con stuff that they're going to be releasing is going to be off the charts and off the chain. And we always do a really big, like, 30-minute video for San Diego Comic-Con, so definitely turn on your notification bell and stay subscribed and tuned in because that is going to be off the charts. Like, there's going to be so much news coming in, like figures upon figures upon figures that are going to be coming in this, not only 2020, but the beginning of 2021. And uh, Ultimate Fiend, I'm imagining Ultimate Hollywood Hogan. I'm imagining so many different things that are going to be 
freaking popping up, man. It's going to be insanity, but that is all the news I have for you guys today. Two new basic series that could or could not be fire. We're just going to have to wait, but I try to give you guys my best thoughts on what we could you know, possibly get and everything, but that is going to do it for today's video, guys. Stay tuned for the Raw review tonight. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.